Hi guys, Hayden VK78JH here for Ham Radio DX, and in this video, I'm going to show you Ham Alert and how I use Ham Alert to tell me when there's activity on the bands from certain parts of the world. I'm not going to go into setting up Ham Alert. There's a great video done by Temporarily Offline, Steve K9MG. No, that's not his call sign. KM9G. <laughs> Um, and I'll link that up in the cards above and also in the description below on how to set up ham alert uh, just in general. But what I thought I'd do is show you some of my triggers and what I'm using them for so that you can get a bit of an idea of setting up ham alert for yourself to maybe catch that elusive DX entity. Uh, is it DX entity? Yeah, that country that you want to work that you haven't worked before. So uh, what's Hamlet? Well, Hamlet basically uh, sends uh, information from spotting programs such as PSK Reporter and other clusters and will send you an alert when it hears activity on the band assigned to your trigger. So I've got a couple of triggers there. I've got my call sign, so whenever uh, someone hears me on any band at all, uh, same too with KM9G Steve. Uh, Josh KI6NAZ from Ham Radio Crash Course and Adam K6ARK from K6ARK Portable Radio. So if they're on the band, if they're on FT8, if they're on uh, uh, SOTA or uh, that sort of thing, I know that uh, if someone spots them that I will be able to know that they're on the band. The next two down the bottom though are the interesting ones that uh, I set up for use on 6 meters. And I wanted to show this in particular because it helps you in detecting and drilling down triggers for different bands and also for working stations on those bands. So over the summer I decided that I wanted to work 6 metres but I wanted to know when the band was open to the United States or South America and I didn't want to have to keep checking all the time on various spotting uh, websites and find out if there's any signals at all. Uh, so what I did was I set up this trigger. So this trigger pretty much uh, is uh, uh, all the conditions need to be met for this trigger to work. I've got uh, it set on the band of 6 metres. The spotter DXCC is Australia or New Zealand. So what that's telling me is that if anyone in a, with an Australian call sign or New Zealand call sign spots any station from the North American or South American continent on 6 metres, all these conditions, if they're all met, it will then send me a push notification via the Ham Alert app on my iPhone which actually works rather well. I got uh, quite a few spots and usually I would find out well in advance when the band was going to open. Uh, similarly, in the next one down, I set this to my own call sign, VK7HH on six meters. And I had uh, the continents, I, had, I think I had pretty much every continent except for Oceania because I didn't really wanna uh, know when it was open to Australia because it was open almost most days over summer. So what this particular trigger does is I used to run FT8 sitting on receive all day while I was at work. And if my station heard any one of these continents on six meters, it would send me an alert. And I heard quite a few stations. I heard uh, mostly uh, America, North American stations coming through and it worked quite well. So you guys, so you can use this to set up maybe on HF if you're after a specific uh, DXCC. Let's just go and create a quick trigger. Uh, so we can, well actually it's probably edit, easier to look at editing this one. So uh, obviously we can put any band that we want in here so we can select the, um, them all listed there. There's also band ranges as well. Uh, but the one that we probably want to look at is this is the either you can either do it by continent or you can do it by DXCC. So if you have a look here, there's all the different DXCCs with their various call signs and uh, prefixes. So if you want to work such a station, you can have a look through here. This works very well with FT8 as well. So if there's a a station that you are really after to try and complete your uh, DXCC awards or something similar like that then you can use this software to go ahead and to set triggers to alert you of any uh, upcoming uh, openings in propagation. So I hope this video helps uh, you with your ham alert. Just a quick one which with what I use with my triggers anyway I'm sure that I'll change them over time. So uh, 73s for now this is Hayden for K7HH if you found this video enjoyable please hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video.